How's it going today, guys? Doing good, Eddie. Look, beautiful day for flying. Unbelievable. I I would have had a walleye on as you pulled off, but a pike just snipped my jig right there, so. God deal, yeah, the fishing's been good. I just checked everybody up north and just got done the west tour. Everybody's catching fish like crazy, so it's been good, Rog. Taking care of your guests up there? Yeah, we're just touring. I do it at least once or twice a week, make sure everybody's okay, so. Maybe you ought to uh, pull her up to the cabin and come fishing with us. Yeah, actually, if you wouldn't mind, the boys at the uh, base, my pilots and crew, they want a fish fry. So if you don't mind, I'm going to hop in for a couple hours. Let's go slam some walleye. We'd love to have you. We'll go meet you at the dock. Now, Eddie, you always send your staff around to keep an eye on the guests, make sure they need don't need ice, bait, anything like that, right? Oh, absolutely. You bet. Just a little guy. Doubles. Oh, this is a nice one. bigger one. You want to come to a place where you just catch fish after fish. I mean, Show Walters is it. Look at the size of that one. That's a nice eye. Char a little chartreuse jig, huh? The gulls are mad at you. Here, I'll show you how we're, how we're rigging these frozen shiners. You just run the tip of the jig through the mouth and then out through the side of the gill and then run the head of the minnow with his mouth open up onto the jig and then just pierce it lightly like that so he stays reasonably straight on the hook. Obviously real simple setup for jig fish and walleye. This is a 6.6 uh, St. Croix Abbott X. It's a medium power rod with a fast action tip on it. Um, spooled, up, spooled up with eight pound suffix 832 braid and I just have a little fluorocarbon leader uh, knotted to that braid uh, for my leader material. That's just eight pound suffix fluorocarbon. Either way, you can fish with braid with a floral leader, or you can fish with monofilament line. Bring a good selection of jigs, a lot of the bright colors for these stained waters up here. Bring plenty of jigs and a couple jigging rods like that. Catch all the walleyes you need here at Showalters. Just a 3 8 ounce uh, fireball jig. Right oh, there, folks. Beauty. Chunky. They are beautiful fish. It was a 19 incher. Yeah, solid 19, for sure. Nice fish. I don't know what I got. It was about six, seven feet off the bottom on the graph, and I pulled the jig and wrap up to it and hit it right now. You should see the fish on the screen here in 20 feet. Yeah, look feet. at them light up, yeah. You know, this is the thing, too, when you come, oh, it's a big one. When you come, you know, come up to show walters, you, you're gonna get your frozen shiners to use for your jigs, but if you wanna bring some artificials, these jig and wrapless, snap wraps, you know, a lure that you might normally use for ice fishing, a real good bait when these fish are sitting in these summer haunts, you know, either the reefs or just on the shoreline breaks, you know, and typically when you trigger fish with artificials like this too, you know, the bigger ones are the ones that are gonna eat that bait, so. Beautiful fish. Yeah, isn't that a beauty? Yeah, that's better than average size there, man. Beautiful Showalter's walleye. Oh man, what a beaut. Yes. Just feisty in this water. in 72 degree water here in the middle of August and they're just kicking. Fun. Big fish. Get them running all over the place out there. Look at the line turning. It's a big walleye. I think I just saw a white tail. Oh, he's a northern. <laughs> just saw the white tail of a northern. Look at him go. Yeah, he's got another walleye on too. You know, you get a lot of these walleyes mixed in, but it's also a lot of great northern pike potential up here. And you'll find, you know, the northerns up here at Show Walters in the spring, they'll be back in the bays, in the mud bays, fishing shallow water, two to five feet, a lot of top water lures and soft plastics. Uh, as the summer progresses and the cabbage weeds come up, those fish pull out of those real shallow bays. They'll still be real shallow and easy to catch, you know, five to 15 feet of water and often relating to those cabbage beds. So bring along some bucktails, surface lures, shallow running crankbaits, uh, inline spinners that you can run through that cabbage, not catch the weeds. That's where you'll catch your northerns here at Joe Walter. Well, thank you, Eddie, for stopping in to visit with us for a few hours today. Oh, that was a tremendous afternoon of walleye fishing, Roger. Loved it. 
Unbelievable. We lost count of how many doubles we had today. Do folks want to experience this great fishing here at Troll Walters? Eddie, how do they reach you to plan a trip? Best way to plan a trip with me is uh, give me a call on the phone and talk fishing, folks, at 807 222 2332 or visit my great Canadian website at fishshowalters.com. We're not done fishing yet. We're going to head back out. Eddie's got to get back to base to take care of some customers. With producer Matt Pollock, Eddie Showalter, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Thank you, sir. Thank you.